is on the list and it's off to Lebanon and off to uh, Iran. And, you know, I come back to this, uh, to this line about brown faces playing off against brown faces so that white faces can steal their land. And, you know, I don't despair very much but, because there's no point, but I, I have a despair every now and again. I think I deserve it because I look at what's happening in the Middle East and I see Muslim faction played off against Muslim faction. A Sunnis played off against Shiites, the, the, the Shiites of, uh, of the, which are uh, uh, the dominant in, in Iran and, the, and the, the Sunnis that are the dominant in most of the Middle East. And this factional war has gone on for centuries. Oh, take me own mother, it's mad down here, over an argument over who, who's the right successor to the Prophet Mohammed. Did I really just say that? Is it actually true? It is. And please, you're arguing and fighting among each other, the Sunnis and the Shiites and any other bloody thing, just like the Protestants and Catholics were divided and ruled. And while you're fighting each other, the people that are orchestrating all this are using both of you to play yourselves off against each other so they can take everything from all of you. And this is why you see, Al-Qaeda is a very interesting story in relation to all this because Al-Qaeda was created by the CIA in Afghanistan to fight against the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. So at that point they brought Osama bin Laden out of Saudi Arabia to front, front up all this and um, so at that point Al-Qaeda good guys. Al-Qaeda means database, the base because it was the, the database of names uh, on the CIA database of uh, so-called Mujahideen fighters against the uh, Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. Now, so Al-Qaeda are the good guys then. Then we have 9-11 and they want to invade Afghanistan for part of this sequence and so they have to find an excuse to invade Afghanistan. So now Al-Qaeda are the bad guys. And the good guy, Osama bin Laden, came in to front the fight against the Soviet Union. He's now the bad guy. They blame him for 9-11. Rubbish, rubbish. Anyway, what then happens is they justify the invasion of Afghanistan to get bin Laden and Al-Qaeda. So now they must, get, they must be schizophrenic. Now they're the bad guys. Then Al-Qaeda is in Libya. And they're now on the rebel side against Gaddafi, so now they're the good guys again. And now Al-Qaeda has moved in, good guys still, hope you're following this, um, into, into Syria. And they are the, the dominant force within the so-called rebels. Now, people would think, well, that's crazy. Why, why, do, they, why do they say Al-Qaeda's good and Al-Qaeda's bad? One simple common theme. What does it suit us to say and do in the circumstances that we are facing? So all this stuff relating to Syria, the, 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 the words and claims spoken by Boy Bush uh, and uh, Tony Blair, now David Cameron and Barack Obama in relation to all this sequence of events, the words spoken by John Kerry, the Secretary of State in America and by um, William Hague, little boy in short trousers, school cap, you can't miss him, who's the Foreign Secretary in this country and has been pressing for a long, long time to allow the, the uh, arming of rebels and the, and the uh, supply of weapons to the rebels in, in Syria. Every single one of them is a solid gold liar who should be in jail with the key thrown somewhere mid-Atlantic because the number of people whose lives, in terms of ending their lives and destroying their lives with, with, with being maimed in these conflicts, and wars and manipulated rebellions does not even begin to register such is the scale uh, over these years that we've lived through and this is just the latest it's a scam it's a scam and anyone who believes it well lost cause because it's so blatant and and finally for goodness sake Muslims in, the, in, in these countries, what are you 
doing, allowing yourselves to be played like a stringed instrument so that your land and your freedom can be taken away by these characters. Over and out.